Preventing and Treating Diabetes Naturally. Hi, I'm Dr. Leslie Korn, and I'm excited to share with you some hints and tips and approaches to prevent diabetes, and if you already have it, how to address it, all through natural integrative approaches. Let's get started. First, I'd like to introduce myself and my background. I'm trained very conventionally in behavioral medicine, also known as applied psychophysiology, really a fancy way of saying mind-body medicine. I'm trained to treat both body and mind, and in much of my practice, I also incorporate spiritual health as well. I was very fortunate to spend over 25 years living in the jungle of Mexico where I learned so much about traditional medicine, natural foods, and how to stay healthy naturally. At the same time, I was able to study at Harvard Medical School and the Harvard School of Public Health to look at the biomedicine of these many approaches. So what are some of the basic principles for restoring health in diabetes? We want to be holistic and integrative. We address physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being. We want to change the social circumstances that can contribute to illness. For example, chronic stress can make you vulnerable to diabetes. The migration or immigration process, working overtime, living in poverty, having poor food quality access, not having enough time to exercise, all of these are the social parameters that can exacerbate or even cause diabetes, not just refined foods. We want to resolve the stress and even the trauma that can underlie or exacerbate diabetes. And then of course we follow the wisdom of nature and all she has to offer in restoring our well-being naturally without the use of sometimes dangerous medications. How does stress contribute to diabetes? Stress increases the stress hormone called cortisol Cortisol also is called the hormone of death. We need it to function, to be wide awake in an emergency or if someone's uh, behind us on the highway to get out of the way. But if we keep pumping cortisol into our system over and over again, it has the tendency to cause the death of brain neurons. It can affect cognitive function, migraines, arthritis, hypertension, acid reflux, even hunger. Stress can result from an excess of refined carbohydrates like white sugar or white bread, for example. This then leads to exhaustion, depression, can contribute to diabetes, and also chronic pain. In general, too much cortisol can make us susceptible to a variety of diseases. And this is why stress management is so beneficial to prevent diabetes and also to treat it. What is the purpose of nutritional supplements? They can provide nutrients that are not available in foods. They maintain health, can help prevent illness, and they can also synergize pharmaceutical use so that you may be able to reduce your dosage of pharmaceuticals, but again, only with the agreement and the supervision of your prescriber. Nutritional supplements also create biochemical responses that lead to optimal functioning of your organs. And the benefits are long lasting. I mentioned a little earlier the use of B vitamins and chromium is a great place to begin. What's next? Join me.